raining just a little bit this morning so I've hooked up those guys in the cat hotel Tux is on his platform we're taking Ruby down to Charlotte today because why free supercharging <laughs> it is raining a little bit right now but I mean literally just a little bit and um, here's Tux boy eating his chicken he really does eat around everything else and mostly eat the chicken yeah, I said we're taking Ruby down to Charlotte. Why? Free supercharging, baby. <laughs> Frugal. <laughs> it's the morning heating pad check. It's uh, moderate temps because of the drizzle and cloud cover. So I think we're in the 40s going up to near 60 here. Or they're in the 40s going up to mid 50s in Charlotte. Charlotte being near the South Carolina border in the middle of the state, so south, um, mostly south of here, a little southwest. All the kitties are looking good. We won't be back late. It's going to be like a nine hour trip, so three, three and a half down, two and a half, three there, three, three and a half back, something like that. It's 7.17 a.m. to be precise. And we've plugged in the address where we're going down at UNC Charlotte, uh, 8904 Johnson Alumni Way. That's the admissions area where the tour will start. Two hours and 35 minutes right now, 159 miles. We'll get there at 9.52 a.m. The tour's at 11. We were shooting for 10.30, so we may or may not supercharge on the way in. Although getting over to Mallard Creek Church Road, which is the original Charlotte supercharger, is not that trivial from uncc even though it's close so anyway we're out of here we're leaving at 19 percent it says round trip is minus 47. neither one of the cars can go all the way down to charlotte and back without supercharging um and instead of hitting mallard creek church we're thinking we'll hit a supercharger in greensboro or the south side because we're all going to need a bathroom break anyway we'll put some in and if we end up putting some in on the way back home too that's fine because we're going to need you know significant charge to get all the way back home today and it's possible this is where the siler city charger could really help because if we we can say oh we'll shoot for home but if we come up because of it starts raining harder or something uh causes us to lose range um, or miscalculate we We've got that nice bailout 45 miles from home at the Siler City Supercharger. Yep. So we can just whip in there and top up again and be there literally five minutes and, and get home. Yeah, that's how I've been handling it recently. It's like, well, I think I'm headed to the house, but Siler City is close enough and far enough that if I need a quick charge and go, I have a, a backup plan. That's exactly right. Just in case you thought you were going to get away from the sound of tinkling Legos today. Yeah. Not. Well, you know, there's lots of great places we could pop, and we could uh, display your Legos in here. You they got this whole shelf thing up here. Very, front. very funny. Uh -huh. Johnny says, "Hey, Mr. Don, you got one of those 65 mile an hour warnings, and we sure do. And now our arrival estimate is 4 percent. It is not raining that bad. There is not that strong of a headwind." But it is rain. It has rained the but whole time. But it has rained the whole time. Don hadn't really been speeding. I mean, we haven't been on a road where he could yeah. go 80. That's right. We haven't even gone 70. So, well, we were planning on stopping anyway, but now it's more necessity than, uh, 
you know, there's there might be a, an, a, 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 a charger on campus, but if there is, we haven't researched where it is, and it's probably not where we're supposed to park. All right, I plugged in Lexington, and uh, I don't know if she'll preheat for fast charging or not, but hopefully I did. She does know it's a supercharger. So I'm working on the penguin now because I finished Santa, and they want me to cover up the snowflake. The owl that I did back in uh, October was same deal. It has this really intricate thing underneath, and then you cover it up. Dang! It's a little, a little uh, Easter egg for the person. Who it, it is, or whoever comes back behind it. It yep. is actually, yep. That's a lot of parts, though, to be an Easter egg. Oh, what do you mean, Ruby didn't get the new chart? How hard is that? Come on. Pound vertical screen life, Elon. Yeah, we've got the, uh, you, did you turn off my heater? No, I did not turn off the heater. I swear I did not turn the heater off. Well, isn't that mean it's off? It's grayed out? Yeah, that's what that looks like. Are you sure you didn't turn well, off? If I did, well, I Well, actually, that made it like cold air come out of there. Go away. Anyway, Don was speculating that the heater was causing our 428 watt hour per mile horrible efficiency, but um, we're in Lexington. Yay! As it turns out, we kind of have a hard stop to get back to Fuquay this afternoon. So the more we can charge here and still make our tour on time, and we're on good time. It's only um, 9.15 right now, the better. So we'll figure it out in a minute. Backup fun when the backup camera has water on it. Yeah. I sure did like this information better when it was on the big screen or also on the big, big screen. screen. Yeah, yep. this little screen is, yeah. 162 kilowatts in case you can't see we seem to have peaked out yeah but that's 164 so it's still climbing a little yeah, bit that's not bad for a you know yeah that's fine 110,000 mile uh, five year yeah, and how many what's our current a uh, mileage we currently have Four, 70 363 miles. we average 363. we currently have 75 miles so we pulled in at like 70 miles we're not super low no to receive peak charging but we're not um really high state of charge either so right. she's up to 169 there briefly. Well, i saw ruby send a message we had enough charge to continue our trip but she means uncc and i think back to some charger after there so charging a few more minutes is good if we have the time and i think we do we're up to 201 miles and we're down to 48 kilowatts so don's unplugging it's uh, 9.45 and it says we're going to get on campus at 10.30, which is good for us to park and get registered. So I think things are coming together. Uh, we'll see if it tells us we still need to stop at Charlotte and Siler City. We probably would not do both, but we might. Um, we'll see. I don't know why it would have a stop twice, but maybe. Well, we're getting ready to go past the exit for the Charlotte Motor Speedway. This truck's basically blocking the exit sign. Thank you, truck. And Concord Mills Mall, which is where the Lego store is. <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> yeah. We just can't fit it in time-wise today. But if we could, I'll leave Don in the car to take a nap, and I'll go into the Lego store. I want to go to Concord Mills. Here's Don's favorite thing in the whole world, light rail. Yeah. Johnny and I saw this when we were down the here for the BattleBots thing on, on the other WC side of Hales town, Boulevard. and uh, now we're seeing it here. Yeah, pretty cool. So they did manage to add it down in Charlotte, apparently, without, um, they no, didn't wait too long to, to add it like WC RTP. I don't know. Well, we are officially on campus now, and honestly, I graduated in December of 91. I did not attend my graduation because I graduated in the middle of the year. Um, and um, I don't, I haven't been back since 1991, and I don't remember anything about the university, uh, how it's organized, where anything is. Uh, I just don't remember. So this will be a a history lesson for me. All I remember about school was it was a heck of a walk from the parking lot to get to the buildings on campus. 
It was a hike with a backpack and a lot of heavy books. That's what I mostly remember about college. Wow, look at the dorms. See, when I went to school at UNC Charlotte, everybody commuted on campus. No there was like hardly anybody stayed anywhere near the campus at all. It was a commuter school. It was, it was not this. Yeah, Johnny was asking me questions and I'm like, I don't remember anything. 0.1 miles, it says well, still. where are we supposed to park? Uh, neck, and there's a parking lot at this building. Assuming it's not empty, otherwise I think we come back here. They gave you parking. In in right. Feet. Your destination will be on the right. Okay. We have the admissions visitor parking lot basically to ourselves. There's a police tower behind Ruby. And uh, this is the building we're headed to. I have on my Tesla hat because I didn't wear a pullover with a hood. I really should have done that. Didn't realize how cold and damp it was going to be today. And yes, the generator in front of us is probably doing a test run. The Niner Transit. So just like state and ECU is big enough to have its own bus system. We sure didn't have any buses back in the day, let me tell you. I'd have been catching buses coming in from some of those parking lots. Don's making a gif on the fancy photo wall machine. And Johnny's checking out dining options on the interactive campus map. There's a Chick-fil-A here too. Oh, I get it. Right. Every university in North Carolina has a Chick-fil-A on campus or close by. <laughs> I love Don. Ooh. Yeah, all these college tours, the young tour guides, they walk really quick. They're healthy because they're on campus and walking all the time. We have like a mile to the student union, they said. I really think for the poor parents on the tour, <laughs> we need a golf cart. We're getting ready to tour one of the dorms. Um, a lot of construction on this campus, 13 buildings in seven years. All right, we're headed off campus, we're on time. These halls here, um, the two tall buildings are original buildings. These look like they were built, this one here closer, in to just to go along with them, this, the architecture, but other than the library, I didn't see one spot on campus that I recognized. <laughs> of course, these kids on campus, they're too young to know what might have been around a while ago, 30 plus years ago. 30? Uh, Is it only 30? It's 31 to be precise since I graduated. <laughs> we'll just leave that there. Probably not headed to Moore County, but just in case it is, we're really hopeful those people get their power back on soon. So, uh, Ruby said to stop at Thomasville. We think we like that a lot better than stopping in Lexington because we can stay on 85 instead of being on 285. Or the 85 business. Right, 85 business. So, um, it's 35 minutes. I guess to get there? No, 211? Yeah. We're 34 minutes away. Yeah. We're coming up on Thomasville, 2.7 miles. Ruby's telling us to charge for 30 minutes to get to the house with 19%, so that sounds reasonable. Of course, she'll tell us when we have enough to go. It's raining now. That'll impact things just a smidge. And it's 50 out there, if you were wondering. So, not the nicest day in Carolina. Yep, 161. She's wrapping up. 162. Says we'll be here 20 minutes. Yeah, it's been going back and forth. Yep. It's a kind of yucky day. 412 watt hours per mile. Uh, up yeah, that. that's pretty. That's pretty low even for Ruby. But we're warm in here. We got the heat on 74. Yeah, we're very. Toasty. We're not conserving. No, we're not not conserving at all. And only thing a little different this time is. Um, yeah, we need to charge just a little bit so I can run an errand into town after we get right, home. That's right. So. 
I was a little hungry, so Don's the only one that was willing to get out in the cold rain and go into sheets. I had him bring me act two hard-boiled eggs, and he got himself some pepper jack cheese. Yep. You know, keto people on a road trip, it's hard to find stuff that you're willing to eat. Um, dollar sixty-nine for the eggs, and the cheese was a dollar thirty-nine. Yep. So this is totally on diet plan for us, and this way we feel like we had a little road trip food, but we didn't eat, you know, go off yeah. off plan. I thought maybe with a little bit of water, which I've now put a napkin in there, that I would that I would think they were gross or not be happy with them, but they were totally fine. And I keep Redmond salt in the car, so everybody wants a little salt on their hard boiled egg. Although the pack had in a dry compartment two packs of salt, so. Well, anyway, we've had a snack now. Yeah, it was yummy. Don's had a Ford collision alert and a I'm not driving. Uh, alert that you've gone over the line. And it's, <laughs> she's driving. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh my God. Don't fire that guy. We got your car all dirty. Charlotte didn't have no snow or nothing. What is all that dirt on my car? I don't know. Please, do please it. move a bath for Ruby to the top of the list. Never mind that Jules didn't get a bath yeah, even I since the last know. time you washed Ruby. Yeah, I'm just going to go read my page. <laughs> I'm back from town. Uh, the errand I had to run. Ruby's down to 34 miles, so... If I want to drive her into downtown tomorrow, I'd certainly better uh, get her charged up.